Are dreams made of atoms? Are atoms made of dreams? Both are silly questions. The simple answers are yes to the first and no to the second. Video over. God, that was easy. I'm getting good at this YouTube shiz. Oh look, a petulant child. Why are dreams made of atoms? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Because everything in the universe is made of atoms. But what are atoms made of? Well, atoms are made of subatomic particles. Your protons, your neutrons, your whizzy little electrons. Anyway, on with what are protons, neutrons, and electrons made of? Ugh, uh, protons and neutrons are made of quarks. Uh, electrons are just made of themselves. What's a quark? Your mum's a fucking quark. Sorry, sorry. Um, not really sure. It's kind of like an electron. It's a fundamental component of the universe. Quark is a funny name. Yes, it is, isn't it? Quark. Quark. <laughs> on, you a quark is the headache you eventually reach when you keep shrinking perspective. The universe is comprised in entirety by forces physics can categorize but hardly understand. Dreams even less so. But I am not a physicist, nor am I a dreamiologist. I do not pretend to understand the principles of quantum mechanics and atomic theory. Or even high school physics for that matter. Physics, 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 physics! I am a monkey. This channel is my machine gun. So, here is my message to all the wannabe physicists watching this who think they understand reality better than everyone else. You are a bunch of up jumped, clever clogged, smarty panted, observer watching nerdy, neaky pillocks. Take your equations and shove them up your grandmother's rectum. Before this video properly starts, I would like to give a quick thank you for my 500 subscribers. To all my new Indian bros who enjoyed my, um, insensitive take on Hinduism, you are most welcome here. I thank you for your fealty. Any ho. What the hell is even a dream anyway? Well, a dream is defined as a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The key word being involuntarily. Those silly willy brain movies you traverse every night are about as consensual as a prison shower romance, and approximately 1 in 40 dreams are some form of horrid nightmare. <laughs> Odd subject to change depending on your mental health. I'm sure you will agree that dreams are ridiculously weird, wacko, beyond silly. You possess the apparently psychic ability to conjure up bizarre landscapes and situations that for all intents and purposes are completely convincing at the time. But what is actually going on when you dream off the Nodland? No one really fucking knows. What we do know is that your prefrontal cortex greatly slows down, which explains the harsh reduction in logic and critical thinking. Your brain also squirts itself with drugs, a combination of dopamine, serotonin, and melatonin, to make the whole experience as tranquil as possible. Additionally, you get slapped with some tasty gamma amino butyric acid, which makes sure you are totally physically paralyzed as your eyes roll, brain waves go havoc, and you mentally thrash against the dream world. Why does this happen? Why do we dream? Well, your guess is as good as anyone's. Some have theorized that dreams serve an evolutionary advantage, like the ones where you are being chased by scary monsters. The more scary monster simulations you complete, the better you might be at running when the actual monsters come for you. However, this does not explain why last night my brain made me fornicate with Margaret Thatcher whilst riding a flying pyramid. Subconscious is weird shit, bro. It might be that my conscious mind is a totally normal guy, the type who would never intentionally mate with a long deceased demon lady. But if my subconscious wishes to bang Margaret Thatcher, then there is little I can do to prevent the troubling dream. The exact purpose of dreams is not particularly important to this video anyway. I am more concerned with what they're made of, and perhaps the best way to discuss dreams is to first define how they differ from reality. I hate reality. You hate reality. If you actively enjoy getting out of bed in the morning, congratulations! You are a psychopath, and I will never trust you. If a dream is a pillow, then reality is a cold hard brick. But at least we know what the brick is made of. Every physical object in the universe is comprised of atoms. That's a solid start. <laughs> but what of atoms? It's actually a hard question to answer. An atom is the final slice, the seventh fold of paper, the baseline of reality. The word is derived from the Greek phrase atomos, meaning uncuttable or indivisible. The atom could not be split, but now it can. So the name atom is a wee bit disingenuous, but the important thing is atoms make up all known physical matter in the universe. There are currently 118 known elements, 94 of which occur in nature. Where did the other 24 come from? We made them. 
That's where technology is now. We're literally making atoms. And what did you do today? How worthwhile is your life? I really hate you, you useless sack of shit. Sorry, sorry. I, I don't hate you, don't worry. Back to the physics lesson. I'm going to use hydrogen as an example, as it is the easiest atom to discuss and it has been a very long time since I studied physics. The base of hydrogen is known as the protium isotope. It has one proton and one electron. But just add a neutron and protium becomes deuterium. Add another and it's now tritium. And if you add another proton, whoopsie, you've made a helium, an entirely different element. But what does this all mean? Well, in legitimately legal physics, it is theoretically possible to turn thin air into gold. That's fucking alchemy. We are nearing alchemy, people. Sell your gold, short it now. It will soon be worthless. Buy blank rascal NFTs instead. Or better still, blank coin. The future of currency, blank coin to the moon. And by moon, I mean the point where I pull the rug, sum my majority shares, and make millions by plunging my loyal subscribers into poverty. Subscribe for poverty. Anyway, the universe is not only made of atoms. There is also light, which is comprised of photons. Photons don't quite know whether they want to behave like a particle or a wave. They have also been noted to change their behaviour depending on whether they are being observed or not. Which is weird. But hey ho, fucker Joe, light's a whole nother video. There is also even weirder stuff in the universe, like neutrinos, antimatter, dark matter and gravity. None of this stuff makes a lick of sense. Neutrinos are everywhere, fundamental particles that are tinier than atoms. Trillions pass through your body every second, but their exact purpose still largely remains a mystery. All we know is that they are a byproduct of a star's nuclear fusion. Antimatter is essentially inverted atoms, with a negatively charged proton and a positively charged electron. It is not naturally occurring, but has been produced in experiments, reacting violently with ordinary matter. As for dark matter, well, no one knows what the fuck dark matter is, but we know that it makes up 27% of the universe, and we cannot fucking see it. And lastly, there's gravity. Well, gravity can go sod itself in a hole, a useless piece of dog sewage. Nothing angers me more than the lack of understanding about a force that literally makes the world go round. All these elements form the universe, the real world, reality. So this begs the question. Do dreams happen in reality? Well, no, dreams are fantasy. They do not occur within reality. Wait, 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 hold up a second, you hasty bugger. If dreams do not occur within reality, where do they occur? In your head? But your head's in reality. Although we can measure which areas of the brain are most active when we are dreaming, we cannot pinpoint the dream itself, any more so than we can bottle a thought or hold a feeling. In a dream, you have a body. You always have eyes to see the dream, at the very least, you are a disembodied camera floating through the incongruous scenes. Assuming that your consciousness exists, that there is a tangible you rattling around in your head every night, then how big are you? On the universal scale. Bigger than an atom, but smaller than a brain is probably your best guess. But does the dream itself occur within the confines of the universe? And is the dream made of atoms? Hard to fucking say, really. How about I procrastinate this answer further with another personal dream tale? I once dreamt of a diamond. I had to steal the diamond from my high school. Upon retrieval, I found it to be orange in colour and completely opaque. The exact shade of a carrot. I was then caught by my history teacher and given the tension. The important question is, was the carrot diamond made of carbon like a regular diamond? No, of course it fucking wasn't. It was made of dream and fancies. It wasn't real, but I held it felt the smooth diamond surface. I touched the cold hard edges and admired the deep orange colour. Great, still wasn't fucking real! But it felt real. It lives in my memory now, as real as any of my waking memories. If my senses were artfully deceived, my environment falsely stimulated, the carrot diamond was still made of something. Imagination cannot possibly possess the ability to create the illusion of something out of nothing. That would break the rules of physics. Illusions in the real world are always made of something. They are never completely ethereal. For example, the projected film you see in a cinema is made of light, made of photons. If we had many projectors in our heads, shooting photons, then yeah, that would be weird, but at least we would understand what the dream is made of. But that is not the case. We don't really know what allows us to see in dreams, but you are not receiving the visuals through your retinas. Yet, dreams require rapid eye movement. The brain is very specific to paralyze the entire body except for the eyes. Time for a tangent! Can blind people see in their dreams? Yes, if they lost their sight, they will still possess the ability to visually dream. And no, if they were born blind, they will never be able to dream visually. 
but they still dream with their other senses such as sound, taste, touch and smell, and emotions of course. In many ways the brain is like a computer, and the dream is like a computer game. When you remember playing a video game, you do not recall your motionless body staring gauntlessly at a screen, you recall the game itself, the story you lived out, but it's a computer game comprised of atoms. The hardware it is displayed upon is, for sure, the game itself is electrical signals, and electricity is made of the flow of electrons, transmitting code at godlike speeds to make the flashy illusion on your screen. But dreams do not run on electrons and photons. Dreams run on ions. <laughs> Sounds rather dramatic, but really all thoughts run on ions. What is an ion? It's an atom that has either too many or too few electrons in its outer shell. The brain's electrical signals are generated by the movement of charged atoms like sodium, potassium, calcium and chlorine across the cell membrane of neurons. This triggers the mental sparks that form your thoughts. I know, it's a very simple explanation for a very complicated process, but the basis of it is this. No, your dreams are not made of atoms in the conventional sense. Dream diamonds are not made of carbon. Dream water is not made of H2O and dream moons are not made of cheese. Although the dream is not made of atoms, the neurochemistry of brain activity is founded on the movement of ions. So, it can be vehemently stated that although the dream is probably not made of atoms, it is atoms that make the dream. Your atomic brain has the ability to create a completely different environment, one that can be argued to be entirely outside the known dimensions of the universe. And this phenomenon occurs daily, over 8 billion times across the globe. It is very tempting to say fuck it, we are all mentally teleporting dimensional space each night. But that sounds like some skit shit Alex Jones would say. The mathematics of the whole system, and you know how it works, it's not like you're some schizophrenic. You talk about it, you deal with it, and it actually works. Like, now when you fight the system- Don't do drugs, kids. However, if you have done drugs, particularly any of these psychedelic molecules, then you're probably more inclined to agree that psychedelic experiences and dreams run on similar bullshit. But the hallucinations you witness while tripping over your balls are not tangible in the real world. Even if you stroke the magic dinosaur and feel the warmth of its skin, there was never an actual dinosaur. You were just temporarily mental. Which brings us to the crux of the argument. Dreams are not physical things. They are arguably caused by physical processes, but the dream itself does not occur in the physical world. It does not obey the regular laws of physics. So what do we call such a phenomenon? Call it fucking magic. Dreams, daydreams, memories and thoughts are absolute sorcery. Your brain is a bundle of atoms, atoms that can fucking think. You are a terrifying specimen. I am terrified of you. How the fuck do you even exist? Get out of my head. Please leave your brain. I want to stop dreaming. Why can't you stop dreaming? And please someone tell me what the fuck is wrong with me. I'm cool. I'm cool. I feel I may have answered the question inadequately, but this is not a question a lone YouTuber can answer. Ultimately, atoms are astounding. Reality is incredible. I have long despised the question, are we in a simulation? Because the word simulation really just means imitation. And if our universe is really just a perfect imitation of another universe, then what the hell does it even matter? What are they really asking? Are we in a computer? Are quarks made of ones and zeros? If there really is a computer, one that is somehow keeping track of the 100 quinvigintillion atoms in the known universe and positioning them all accordingly every nanosecond, then guess what buddy, that computer is fucking gone. I am now reminded of a quote by Niels Bohr on the topic of atoms. Everything we call real is made of things that cannot be regarded as real. Remember those classic images of atoms you've seen in textbooks? Well, they are sort of just completely wrong. Atoms are predominantly comprised of empty space, with electrons being better represented by clouds to indicate all areas they could possibly be at any given time. Worse still, the actual nucleus, which contains almost all of the mass, is tiny compared to the size of the atom. How tiny? About a hundred thousand times more tiny. If the atom was the size of a football stadium, then the nucleus would be the size of a testicle. This is the terrifying point that Bohr was getting at. Everything in the universe is made of atoms, but atoms themselves are made of almost nothing. So how can we possibly regard anything as real? The universe is intricately constructed. The laws of physics are immutable. The periodic table is limitless. If you scramble the table in just the right way, you get John fucking Lennon. Every song, every star, every tear, koala, bad trip, movie, missile, orthodox Jew and dream 
was ultimately created with atoms, with the periodic table. Accept that the situation you wake into every day is ludicrous. Why focus on dreams at all when reality itself is no less miraculous, no less mental? You are a living sentient pile of atoms, and atoms are the universe. And in a weird way, you are the vessel the universe uses to dream. But why the fuck does the universe want to dream about a hippo eating salami whilst lava skiing? I don't fucking know, I don't know shit, but I really do love you. Goodbye.